Good morning, Astro Ponderers. I'm Tess with your weekly metaphorecast to bring the poetry of the skies down to the actuality of daily life. This episode is for the week of Monday, November 2nd through Sunday, November 8th. November has begun with the thinning of the sun, the gloaming of a very strange year, what new new normals might appear. This week marks a sweep of change, a tango of the normal and the strange. Over the weekend, we changed the sequence of time, setting our clocks back before to bed we climbed. The birth of daylight's extra hour put 60 more minutes in your power to get out there and cast your vote. But like many others, you may have voted remote. Which in case, good for you. As Thomas Jefferson said, we do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. Changes of time and changes of government, two structures of order changing within days of each other. Scorpio, the current Sun King, is delighted. The tango of order and change lies at the core of its dark, mattery heart, as does the waltz of normal and strange. Ray Bradbury said, Time is strange and life is twice as strange. Normal and strange, order and change, the renewal from that which is rearranged. In the season of change relishing Scorpio, its totem planet Pluto continues a long journey through the atmosphere of Capricorn, the sign of time, order, and normalcy. As we know, normalcy is now something new and strange. Jupiter and Saturn are also in Capricorn, bringing in themes of hope and structure. What structures might we hope to see emerge as new in your own personal life as well as in the world? How can we best bring these structures into existence? Socrates said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Bucky Fuller's idea was to build a new model that makes the old one obsolete. Mars, Scorpio's other totem planet, is championing in the new, in Aries, the dawn of a new day. What new words have been unearthed that you'd like to pursue? What rings out in the dark as profoundly true? A blueprint of that model new, to build and put all your energy into. Don't limit yourself to what you see as possible. Use the full power of the Scorpio's strange quantum verse. Truth is indeed stranger than fiction. Mark Twain saw this to be true because, quote, fiction is obliged to stick to possibilities. Truth isn't. Mercury, the planet of perception, direct on Tuesday, election day, in social-minded Libra. Forward with decisive social action. Venus also in Libra, making absolutely sure that you are part of the process, participating in the life of change and order. As Pete Seeger said, participation is what's going to save the human race. Uranus, the planet of future in bountiful building Taurus, building that new model that makes the old one obsolete. Neptune in Pisces, the emergence of truth in a sea of darkness. The moon will begin the week big in Gemini. A curious mood thirsty for new information. Your clock may set itself back, but don't rely much more on autopilots. A curious mood requires engagement. By early evening on Wednesday, she continues her gibbous wane into Cancer, the sign of response. To respond to change as an explorer of that dark matter, seeking the true in the strange, the profound in the outer bounds. The poet Paul Valéry saw this type of exploration to be philosophy's purpose to return from the familiar to the strange and, in the strange, to confront the real. By the weekend, a Leo moon wanes into its fourth quarter, playful and spontaneous. It's getting late in the year, and winter will soon be here. Leo moons inspire self-creation, to which maturity bears much relation. To mature is to, in the words of philosopher Henri Bergson, go on creating oneself endlessly. Order and change, normal and strange, preserving each other with progressive exchange. In participation, we anticipate the mountain range of the Aquarian age. 
As always, happy astro pondering. For contact information and more, visit me at happyastropondering.com.